Hello and welcome. Let me show you how you can download and install Unify Controller. We need to go to download.bnt.com. Wait for it to load. Then go to Unify. Go down and select the latest controller as per your operating system. In this case, I'm using Windows, so I'll download it for Windows. Click on Download, click on I agree, then Download File. Let's wait for it to finish the download so that I can show you how you can install the Unified Controller and adopt the APIs. Okay, after it is downloaded, you need to open the installer. Click on install. You'll ask for the tab in case it is not installed on your computer. So we'll click on OK. It'll we'll take you to Java website. You can click on free Java download and agree to download. Okay, once it is downloaded, you need to install the Java as well. So let's install it. Might take some time depending on the internet speed and the computer speed. Okay, it is installed. Now you need to go back and run the installer for you. Click on install. It will install for it for you. Click on finish. Okay, after it's finished, open the Unify controller. Launch browser to manage the network. It'll take you to SSO page. Click on advanced and click on proceed to post. And to a visit, you can just click on next. I can see my APs over here, which were adopted on an old controller. So I do not have a backup for, the, for for that controller, but I do remember the password for both of the devices. So I'll just select those and hit next. And I'll create a new SSID so that my AP can broadcast as a password for it. And I do not want to enable guest access, it will only to isolate the clients. Click on next. Now this will be my controller credential to log in. The email is I think optional. I think you will have to enter the email as well. Click on next. You do not want to do this because this is only if you want to manage this cloud, so you manage this controller on any other location. Let's get this. Okay, now you need to open the UI controller and click on launch a browser. It will take you to the controller page. As you can see, I am logged in. Now we need to click on devices tab. Now over here, you can see that I have one access point with the connected status. I have a switch which is managed by other. This is because it was configured on a different controller, an old controller. So I will have to adopt it in this new one. To adopt it, I will need the username and password of the old controller, which is the device authenticating username and password, which you might have kept on the old controller. 
can see it. Setting site, device authentication. So let me try to punch in my password and check if it adopts. Okay, it seems to be provisioning. That's a good sign here. Might take some time to stay connected. Okay, great. Nice. It seems that both devices are connected, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, please leave a, leave a thumbs up and subscribe.